Despite many great generations of M3s and M5s over the years, the truth is, the latest run of M cars have left me feeling kind of cold. These days, it seems like BMW would rather slap the M badge on something like that stupid X4 crossover coupe than actually give the M3 good steering. But then there's this little guy, the M2. Ever since it came out, everyone heralded it as being this sort of return to form. It's small, it's simple, and it certainly looks the business. But to be a proper M car, it's got to be both fun on your favorite back roads and good enough to go home with you at night. Let's check it out. How does it look? Let's call this one handsomely aggressive. No part of the M2's design looks overwrought. Instead, the coupe is bulgy in all the right places, with plenty of cues to set it apart from any M Sport badged products. The dark finished 19 inch wheels sit on wider front and rear tracks, the front fascia is all about purpose and feeding air into the engine, and the quad exhaust tips are a nice finish out back. Plus, Long Beach Blue is like the best color. How's the storage? Okay, remember, this is BMW's small coupe, so storage obviously isn't going to be its forte. That said, there's 10 cubic feet of space back here, which is enough for a couple of suitcases, and the rear seats fold down, so if you need to carry longer items, it's easy to do. There are some shallow pockets in the doors and a center storage space that's big enough for your phone and some loose change. And that's about it. Two cup holders up front are fine for beverages or as a place to throw your keys, but overall, there's not a lot of extra space for unnecessary stuff inside the cabin. Is it roomy? Eh, it's fine. Two passengers of all sizes will fit up front, and while the rear seats are, of course, cramped, they can be used by real adult human beings, for short distances, of course. How does the interior feel? Honestly, the first thing that I notice when I get in here is that there's just a lot of black and gray and plastic. It's not very attractive, despite having some nice carbon fiber weaving over here. And honestly, the whole interior fits nicely together. It feels good. It's all very premium. Plus, the controls are all logically placed. Everything is exactly where you'd expect it. The only complaint I really have is that this M steering wheel is just a bit too wide in diameter. Is it well equipped? The M2 has everything you need and nothing you don't. BMW iDrive controls everything on an infotainment level, the leather seats are power adjustable and heated, and Xenon headlamps are standard. The only option is a $1,250 executive package, which adds a heated steering wheel, rear view camera, automatic headlights, and a few other goodies. How's the infotainment system? Maybe I've just gotten used to it after all these years, but I don't find BMW's iDrive all that bad. The menus can be a bit confusing, sure, but I like the optional split screen layout and find the colors and fonts bright and pleasant. That said, I still find myself having to look down at the center console to remember which of the hard buttons around the center dial control each of the individual functions. Is it a good daily driver? You know, when you're not hammering on the M2 and you're just driving it around town in comfort mode, it's really easy and really nice to drive every day. The shifter is nice and light, good action. The clutch, same thing. It's very light, very progressive, easy to use. The steering is pretty light and direct. And visibility is really good. It's a little on the harsh side in terms of suspension refinement, but it is a sports car. It's on 19 inch wheels and it's got really thin tires. This is definitely a car that airs more on the side of performance but sure, you can drive it every day and not be punished. Is it fun to drive? You know, I have to say, I've been a little disappointed by BMW M lately. The M3 and the M4, just not doing it for me. But when I take this car out, the way it feels, the way it grips, the way it hugs the road, and the fact that it just feels really small and nice while doing it, it's a reminder of the M cars that used to be, and a reminder that at the end of the day, 
BMW knows how to make a really solid sports car. I kind of don't love the way that sport mode automatically blips the throttle when you downshift, though it does make for really smooth, really precise downshifts, which, when you're driving aggressively, is extremely important. But like, I'm driving down the road right now, revving a little high in third, I want to kick down to second. No drama, it does it on its own. God, I love this car. How's the fuel economy? Technically, the EPA says you can get 18 miles per gallon city, 26 highway, and 21 combined, but if you drive this car like it's meant to be driven, or like I've been driving it, prepare to see an average in the mid to high teens more often than not. How much is it? As tested, this M2 costs $54,495, and I actually think that's kind of a bargain. Consider this. It's better to drive than the more expensive M4 coupe, but costs way less. It comes equipped with everything you need, and it's genuinely pleasant to live with every day. What are the negatives? Honestly, its only real negative is that it's a coupe, so that immediately limits all of its functionality from a day-to-day -day use basis. Can't get into the back seats all that easy. There's no hatchback variant. It's not great for hauling people. So it's not a car for everybody. Who should buy it? This is the best BMW M car you can buy today. If you want a small, sporty car that's kind of a true return to form for BMW, this is the one to get. Don't spend all that money on a 4 Series Coupe, just get an M2 instead. And if you don't really need all the power of something like a Mercedes AMG C63, the M2 offers a really great driving experience for a lot less money. Hey guys, if you like this Y buy, there's a chance you're an automotive enthusiast. And if you like to wear that on your sleeve, you should check out motorstore.com. They're our sister site. They have all sorts of cool hats, hoodies, shirts, jackets that you should definitely check out.